Yes, guys, look at this root rot that exists even in the lettuce grow system. So you are not impervious to this type of issue even using hydroponics. And I do have some speculations about how this happened, but you can see how it infects all the roots around this system. Now, in terms of remedying this situation, we're gonna start by unplugging the lights, unplugging the water so that none of that's plugged in while we're messing with the plants and trying to fix this issue. And you can see our nice cord box here that hides the cords and also protects them from children or pets. So we'll have that linked in the description as well. But here we are taking out some of the plants. Uh, as shown earlier, you can see the level of root rot that they're just turned black almost. Uh, for all these plants as you go around. And so part of what my speculation is on how we got here was we actually did harvest some plants and removed the pods, but didn't have new seedlings to replace right away. So we had basically open holes in our lettuce grow and that allowed maybe some light, some bacteria, some other things that would normally not get into the interior of the system. Um, but because there were these holes that didn't have any uh, of the pods inside them, that basically gave them the opportunity to get inside. And I think that's what partially contributed to our root rot. Probably also maintaining the root systems and clipping it would have contributed to helping keep them healthy as well. So as you can see, we're starting to take apart the system. And on the inside, again, you can see some of that growth of some of the green stuff, the gross stuff. It's not too bad right here at the top, but uh, you'll see here in a second as we take off some of these layers and get lower, you'll notice that it actually gets uh, a lot worse as we go down. Also, as a word of caution, you might notice here that I do have some black electrical tape there around. I effectively over tightened uh, when we were installing the lights one of the first times. I over tightened that joint and it actually caused a little crack to form. Uh, the, the actual sort of gasket is deeper inside there, so it didn't necessarily allow any water to get in, but I did put a little electrical tape around the outside. Now, once again, uh, you can see this black stuff that is forming inside here, and this is different than what was there and present when we did our previous reset. And if you want to watch that video of just a traditional reset of the lettuce grow and how you can clean it out quarterly, uh, I'll have that video linked as well. But as I said, uh, it does look different on the inside, and you'll see that if you watch that other video, how they appear a little bit different. So uh, again, we're finishing pulling this thing apart, and then we'll get into how to clean out this system on the inside and then clear out all that root rot bacteria and everything else so that we can kind of start fresh. Now, if you do watch that other video, you'll know that I did put a pump. I, I attached the pump to a hose and just emptied out most of the water into the sink before uh, dumping out what was left. But this time there wasn't nearly as much water in the bottom. So I thought this time I'll just take it into the bathroom and dump it in the bathtub, except as you can see here, it doesn't fit through the bathroom door. So I had to take it out the front door, which is a little bit larger and dump it into the flower bed. And as you can see here, I nearly dropped the whole thing. So I recovered, dumped out all the water this way. It was still quite heavy, a little bit heavier than I had anticipated, but was able to dump all the water out and go back in. So all in all, I don't know if it saved me time or not because I had to replan and go out into the front yard as opposed to just uh, draining it out the hose like I did last time. But here we are, now it's empty and we're gonna take it to the shower. Um, and we learned that last time that sometimes instead of sticking my arm in here and trying to scrub it with a brush or anything, uh, just taking the whole thing into the shower can save us some time on that front. So here we are, ready to rinse out, use the handheld. We have a handheld. If you don't have one, then it might not be as efficient for you, but here we are rinsing everything out of the shower. And then here's the dolly and everything else getting it clean. And now we can start to put it back together. Unfortunately, because of the root rot issue that we experienced, we weren't able to save any of the actual plants that experienced that root rot. So while we are able to rinse out the system and start fresh and start new and everything's good going forward, we did have to sacrifice all the plants uh, as they came out. None of those were able to be reused or saved or regrown. So, but here we are sticking it back again. When you use the indoor system with the lights, uh, you have to put one layer on at a time and plug the lights together. We did purchase another layer, another row here. So you can see here's a brand new light ring. And we also have another layer of pods to go in here. So as we add this, then we continue to add the extra additional pipes and go through here to add each layer. And so uh, you can do the same thing. If you purchase a smaller one initially, like we did, then you can over time add additional layers if you choose to, if you wanna have more plants. And we're planning to add some kale and some different sort of herbs this time around. So let us know in the comments if you have any questions yourself about a lettuce grow system. Uh, here we are adding some water. And one thing to note if you do add additional layers to your lettuce grow system is the amount of nutrients that you're going to need is going to change. And so what I mean is your uh, weekly sort of refresh where you add nutrients. Uh, initially for us, we only had uh, a scoop and a half each time, each week, but now it's two full scoops each time. So if you add another layer, add additional plants, then you're going to need to add more nutrients. 
And you can see here we did purchase ourselves a few new accessories. So we have a digital pH thing there that's measuring the pH of the water. And then I bought a little uh, drill uh, attachment that's spinning up the water. It's actually something you can use to mix cement or otherwise, but I'm using it to mix up the water so I don't have that little uh, paint stir anymore. Uh, I just use the drill attachment and it stirs up all the water, all the nutrients, and then we can get a good test for the pH. We use this digital uh, reader in order to tell us what the pH is. And again, we have to add pH down as necessary. And then it has this nice little case that it fits in. So um, that's a new accessory. We'll add that in the description as well. And then you can see here, we're just adding our new brand new plants back into the lettuce grow system. So root rot is not the end of the world with the lettuce grow. Uh, you might lose a few plants along the way, but just rinse it out and uh, fill it up with some new fresh seedlings and it'll be brand new. Um, there we go, sticking on the final pieces there and uh, we'll have to re-plug back in our plugs so that we can turn the lights on and turn the water on. And again, all these uh, extra accessories and products will go ahead and stick in the description as well as a link to Lettuce Grow for our special uh, link that we have if for a referral link for anybody who wants to buy their own Lettuce Grow system. Again, let us know if you have any questions. Thank you for watching. Go ahead and check out one of these other videos if you like, and don't forget to like and subscribe. See you in the next one.